I'm not sure if you follow that same sentiment or not, but how I, I look. Do. Okay, good. So, so how I look at this is before we get into the depth chart, let me just ask you real quick. What's your record prediction? Nine and three. We already talked about this. Nine and three uh, is my, is my ceiling, right? Um, the floor is nine and three. The ceiling is, you know, uh, 12 and one. Mm-hmm. That's, that's 12 how and I'm one. Going. 12 and one. So what? The first round playoff might be a loss. That's only loss. Hey, it depends on who we draw. If we draw Georgia, you know, hey, hey we, we got the dogs in the trenches. But, you know, uh, my ceiling, like my three toughest games I see on the schedule, right, is Oregon, Utah, USC. That's just a no-brainer. Everybody else, it, it, it's a win-win uh, situation, so you can't lose. But, uh, the, like I said, the floor is 9-3, and three, the ceiling is 12-1. and one. I got you, man. And, and so, you know, I still think that's a little high, but that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. And I and we've talked about this before. Yeah. I just know under the hood what it takes to win. And I'm not saying they don't possess that. But there are a lot of things, a lot of variables. And we did talk. I mean, we were on the phone over an hour yesterday, yeah. I believe it was, just having a conversation. And we talked about various things from referees to injuries to uh, uh, discipline issues that may occur. All of those things can affect wins and losses. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? Um and 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 sometimes things that seem to be a fit are not. You know, yeah. I hate to say this, I'm definitely gonna get my head knocked off. But we <laughs> we literally just went through that in Miami. We literally thought, shout out to my man Warren Kane. We thought we had to seal team six of coaching, and we went five and seven. Yeah. And guess what the fan base did? They turned on the players. All oh, the players suck. Oh, the players suck. No, it may be some players. But everybody got something to blame. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, that's the, what I love about football is. Think about it. There are hundred over a hundred people on your roster, bro. Yep. But only eleven, only eleven play at a time. True. <laughs> that's big. True. So anyway, let's jump into this deal, man. Because we don't have a lot of time, and I want, we already ten minutes into this thing, man. I see hey, you right, AG. But Coach Prime could hoop too. I, I know he could play some basketball too. And plus, you know, he's a Florida boy, so that's a little edge too. I got it. You know, I, well, my man from Alabama, what is he from Alabama, right? Uh, uh, Bo Jackson? Uh, yeah. Uh, Auburn, if I'm not mistaken. He went to Auburn, right? Oh, well, yeah. yeah, but I thought he was from Alabama as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. Didn't I tell you? Coach, <laughs> you move on the goal line. <laughs> I got any questions. If y'all got any questions, make sure y'all drop it. When they, that line drops, call in. We yeah, call in. We're going to open it up. We're going to give you the two minutes. We'll put you on. You know what I'm saying? If you hear this, uh-oh. I mean, you're playing Crash, and I ain't playing today. All right? So, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this deal. Let me put this up here on the screen. Let's talk about offense at when we first start on offense. Yep. Let's look at this deal here. And I'm not well-versed when it comes to their <laughs> depth chart, so I'm using you as, as my expert witness to help me. I don't know if you can see that clearly or not, but we, okay. start off, we start off with the X receiver and Travis Hunter. I agree. I, I think everybody and, and anybody knows who Travis Hunter is. So we can That's a guaranteed lock. Yeah, we can move on beyond that. Xavier Weaver, what, what's his deal? Uh, he's coming in from USF. Uh, he was their leading receiver um, at USF uh, last year. Um, he's definitely uh, one of those players that's going to mm-hmm. lock in one of those starting positions. I do see them going a lot of four receiver look. Um, so, Javon Antonio, Weaver, um, Hunter, and uh, Jimmy Horn. Th- those are my four starters uh, that I got locked in for Colorado. All right, well, just tell me quick about Weaver. What, but tell me quick about Weaver because I want to kind of go quickly, just kind of real quick synopsis down the line of who these guys are because a lot of people don't really know who the star or potential starters are and who are all these recruits. I mean, all of these cats coming in. Now, Weaver here it says Orlando Christian Prep. So he's from my area. He's he's from yeah. right here in, in my, my town. Yeah. Um, hey, he's a dog. You know, he's I do want to say this. Yeah, all of this yellow that you guys see, like this gold color, uh, the gold, gold color names. Come on, man, get this crap out of here, man. All these gold colored <laughs> names means that there are new new addition, grad transfers, and freshmen. Look at this. All of those yeah. gold colored names mean either they're new, they just came, they are freshmen, or they transferred in. Yeah. No. All right, Jimmy Horn, he's a UCF guy as well. Talk to me real quick. What does he bring? Oh man, four three speed, baby. 
He's another USF uh, guy um, coming from a 111 team from USF that transferred into Colorado. Um, he's ready. He's going to take off, man. Uh, I'm expecting a lot of great things from Jimmy Horn Jr. Uh, he's ready to take off, man. He's going. He's definitely going to produce more than what he produced at USF. Because the biggest difference is you got Shador Sanders. That's the biggest key. You got a quarterback that can get you the ball in space and fly. Okay. Now, next after that is Christian Listenhan, Gerard Christian Listenhan. He's the left tank. tackle. Big tank is what they call him, Coach. Big tank. Uh, he's a he's gonna he's got some competition at that left at that left tackle. Um, I, right now I got him pistol as a starter. He is one of the ten returning players um to Colorado from last year's team. Um, but he is six ten. Uh, he's got to still work on technique, but he's definitely uh, right now locked in as the starter, but he's got some some competition at that left tackle position. So that's what I say about him. So he's six he's six ten, three fifteen. Yes, sir. Okay. Big tank. Right, we're gonna find all right, big tank. He look like long neck to me if you call him a V. That's all I'm looking at it. All right, anyway, <laughs> Tyler Brown in the building, man. Tyler Brown, he comes from Jackson State. I actually saw I think Life in Football did an interview with yes, him. Yes, sir. Y'all please excuse the Ad they keep popping up, but but life did a uh, uh interview with him. I like him, well read young man. I saw the interview, uh, I like what he can do, but I can like people all I want. Can he play ball? He can definitely play ball. This is Mr. Rock himself, Mr. Strongest offensive line on CU. Uh, transferring, like you said, from JSU. Um, he's very, very solid. I'm um, good protection. Um, he's been rolling with Coach Prime for a couple years now, so. Definitely ready to see what he can do at the power five level because it is a step up uh, from JSU. So very excited. Um, I would pencil him in at the left guard position. All right, perfect. And he's transferred from Louisiana to Jackson State and now yep. to Colorado. Colorado. All right, here we go. Next on the list up here is Mr. Van Wells, the center. Van Wells, what's his deal? He's coming in Mr. at 6'2". This dog going to add. I can't stop it, man. They're they trying to get paid, too. I get it. I ain't going to get paid on my one. He's 6'2", 290. Again, I don't know how accurate these weights are, but th now this list was made in June. So it was updated yeah. in June. So anyway, talk to me. They're, like, they're, they're a lot bigger than what they are, what their pictures are saying. But uh, Mr. Van Van Wales, baby, Mr. Bam himself, uh, this is definitely a lock um, on offensive line for a starter. Um, he is one of the another returning player that started center. He was all Pac-12 last year, um, so he's definitely coming uh, to show everybody what he can do in year two um, in a program. Um, he does have some competition that he didn't have last year to compete for that starting position, but right, you can go ahead and lock him in. All right, Jack Bailey up in here. He's a red shirt senior transfer, and he's coming from, if I'm not mistaken, is it Kent State? Kent State, baby. Kent oh, State. It Jackson State. I can't. Yep. No, it's Kent, Kent State. State. It's Kent State. He came, he came over with uh, the offensive coordinator, Sean, Sean Lewis. Now, with, with Jack, this is where things get interesting. Do you right, know anything about him? I do. Um, he started at left guard at, at Kent State last year. Um, he's been with them all his career, transferred to CU. But I got Landon Beebe as my starter over Jack over Jack Bailey. But we're gonna find out if the pass come home next month. But I got Landon Beebe starting at that as that right guard over over Jack Bailey. But he is a solid offensive lineman. Okay. You said you have who's starting over him? Landon Beebe. Landon Beebe. Okay, they got him as the backup center. So like you say, he may come in as a grad transfer. I mean, he comes in, uh, I guess as a grad transfer. Uh, but he's also a backup center, which is good. But he also could be the starting right guard. And if the center goes down, they can slide him to center and then slide my man in if he gets beat out. I'm not going to go back and forth if you guys don't mind because I'm tired of that ad. I didn't know the ad was going to keep doing that. And so I'm going to take your tr your expertise. Plus, it'd be good if you guys could just see the list. Savion Washington, another grad transfer at right tackle. Talk to him. Savion Washington comes over from uh, Kent State also with Jack Bailey. Uh, so he was the starting right tackle at Kent State. Um, he's a solid, solid uh, protector um, on that. Um, glad to have him because uh, they do they did need help at that tackle spot. Uh, we do got some other tackles that's coming in that's not on the screen just because this is from June not up, up to date. Uh, but we do got some other tackles that's going to give Savion Washington um, 
a run for his money, but I do have Savion starting this year. Okay, now these blue names that we see up here, these are guys who were already on the team. So right now, out of the Correct. 11, you got three guys on the team that are potential starters. I'm not saying they are, but potential starters based on this list from last month. Uh, Louis Passarello is the tight end. I know he was one of the very first guys. I believe he got his number, one of the earlier Correct. guys who got his number early, and he was on the team last year, so he must have really impressed Coach Prime. He did. Uh, but the person that's going to start over him um, is a converted wide receiver. Um, I think you got him on the fourth. Or they got him on the fourth or fifth um, line, but he's a he's a transfer um, junior um, that's going to start. So um, I do like Lewis. Um, I think he brings some great quality, uh, especially in the block, uh, the run game. Um, he can go out and catch passes, but I do see uh, somebody else start over him um, that's not listed as a tight end that's converted from a wide receiver to a tight end. Okay. Shadur Shout out Sanders. to Coach Bruce. All right. Shadur Sanders is a lot. We get it. That's I got lot. it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to spend my time on that. We know who he is. We know what he's all about. But what I do want to spend my time is on Ryan Stubb in this case in Weissman. Ryan Stubb is a true freshman. And yes. again, we talked about this. Knock on wood. So I'm knocking on wood. I don't like to put that out there on players. So I just simply say, if Shadur Sanders breaks a shoelace, Chin strap is broken. He has to come out for several role plays. Yeah. Can Ryan stop? Can he steer the ship? I say he can, um, but Kaysen Wiseman is uh, also a freshman. The thing that Ryan has over Kaysen is Ryan was actually a spring ball, and Kaysen wasn't. So um, Ryan Ryan knows the offense. Uh, Shadur is him right. He's bringing up the pack of quarterbacks behind him um, and getting them ready to go for the season. But Ryan – Definitely can get it done. Um, he does have uh, the accuracy um, and it, the cannon of an arm to get it done. So I do like Ryan at that bag up. But I can also see Kaysen being number two behind Shador. All right. Running back room is big, right? Everybody talked about the receiver room and the running back room. And we're going to expound on interesting. that. Yeah, we're going to expound on that a little bit as I go through the offensive side and then we'll flip the defense. So you start off with Alton McCaskill. Um, and then you have Cavassier Smoke. I know he comes from Kentucky. And then you have Dylan Edwards, who was the supposed to be the shoe-in, if I'm not mistaken, to Notre Dame. And then yep. he ends up going to Colorado. We saw him play in the spring game, right? Not a big guy. Quick and yeah. fast, but not a big guy. Talk to me about that room in general. Man, this is this amazing running back room. Um, and one of the names that's left off with her, well, it's a couple of names that's left off with her. But the biggest thing that's left off with her is Sebian Wilkinson. Um, that's 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 going to be a huge key um, to them. Uh, you do have Anthony Hankerson. Um, you do got Charlie Offerdahl, um to walk on. But I see all the running backs playing this season um, in significant roles, especially like when you get down to like the goal line situation. You got your Kavasi Smokes. You got your Sepion Wilkinson. Uh, I see Alton, uh, Alto is what it's really pronounced, um, getting a lot of carries. But then I do see Dylan Edwards playing a little bit of slot, a little bit of screen action out of the backfield, they're going to use him in multiple different ways. Now I just said running back because uh, he got he has 4-2 speed. So anytime you got 4-2 speed, you're going to find a way to put that kid on the field, whether it's in a kick return, punt return, uh, just getting the ball on a jet sweep. They're going to find a way to get that get Dylan Edwards the ball. Uh, but my starter right now, I do have Otto um, starting. My backup is Savion Wilkerson and then Smoke with Edwards playing a little bit of slot and a little bit of everywhere on the field. All right, real quick, I just want to say this to the chat before I get to the – I mean, we call it fullback. Hey, okay, yeah. whatever. Big shout-out to Champion Johnson. What a name. There's some names on this team. Cavassier Smoke. I don't want yep. to know how he got that name. <laughs> and Champion Johnson, it is what it is. But I do want to say this to the chat. I'm not ignoring you. I'm kind of going through this because it's very detailed, but we're going to open up the phone line. I see my man Jim and I already. He want to be first in line. That boy – he the dude that be first period to my win lunch. He ready to go to lunch first period so he can get the hot food. But anyway, I'm going through this quickly. Now, I want to talk about some guys. I'm going to start off with my dog because it's daddy in here. And I oh, like yeah. this kid. I like this kid. And I, he's fourth, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Right? Uh, I, I saw what I see here, the receiver. And, and it, maybe I could, I could bring it down just a little bit so you guys could see. Let me let me bring the screen down a little bit. I'd be hard to read. But Asad Wasim is here. They got him kind of listed as the number fourth player uh, on, on this deal. And, again, that's okay. He's a freshman. He can work his way through and so forth and so on. 
But with the with the amount of wide receivers that play in the game, the, the, the substitutions and all that, we could get on de- starting depth charts. But we know a lot of guys are going to play. What do you see? Who's going to be beyond those starters, the Jimmy Horn, the Weavers? Who will be the next impact receiver up in here? Oh, man. Um, the freshman class is amazing. Um, Hassad, is, he's got some great, unique uh, skills set the bottom. He did play in the spring game, so that's a big key. Um, so he got some of the terminology down. Uh, from the spring game. Um, outside of that first rotation, you know, I do see uh, Willie STR Gaines uh, getting loose uh, just because of that Jackson State connection. I do see Hopkins uh, when when uh, Travis or uh, when Travis or uh, Javon comes out, I do see him coming in uh, to play a big role. Um, don't sleep on Dawson. Dawson is definitely one of those cats that's going to play a lot. Um, and then after that, um, I'm trying to see because it's super small on my end. So that's a. I'm that's sorry. Let me let me blow it uh, up for you a little bit. Yeah, uh, Marion Miller um, is definitely uh, another one of those uh, big time receivers that came in. Um, he's do- he's doing a great job right now. Uh, but you know, once those pass come on, everything is gonna get to changing. Uh, Michael Harrison, he's get he's got to convert it over to a tight end, so he's not even gonna be a wide receiver. So. Um, they definitely got a lot of speed at the wide receiver position, a lot of four, two, four, three guys. So it's going to be definitely like them flies on them in them slots. So you could definitely be looking for a lot of uh flies in the slot, um, on the outside, um, more possession receivers. Gotcha. Real quick, I just I just want to make an observation here, right? As we look at this roster, there's three positions listed, but we know they run four wide receivers, so I get that. You got the X, Z, and F, and I understand, you know. We can get it to the S in the slot. But they're basically five deep. There are five yes. names. Now, we that's the difference when you want to get into caliber of the player. But they have five listed names per three, splot, three spots. So five times three, that's 15. Yeah. <laughs> that's 15 wide receivers for three spots, possibly four. If you want to break it down and put four there, I get that. I understand that. But here's where what was interesting to me. As you look at this, look at all these vacancies when it comes to offensive line. Left tackle, right tackle, I'm sorry, left tackle, left guard, and center are only two deep. Now, can you take and then the right guard yeah. and right tackle are only three deep? So my question is, is that a concern for Colorado's offense? It's not because um we did add depth there. So we are three deep now at the left guard, the left tackle, and center position. So because this okay. list is not up to, up to date, you don't see. Uh, we just got in two tra- uh, two transfers from JUCO uh, within the last week. Um, that's not on there. And then we got a couple more transfers that I don't see that's on there because uh, I don't even see the transfer from Florida, uh, David Connor, who's out right now with injury. Um, so there's a there's a All right, lot. And I saw Offerdahl. Is that John Offerdahl? Is that John Offerdahl's son from my beloved Miami Hurricanes? No, I mean no, Miami no. Dolphins. Excuse me, Miami yeah. Dolphins. <laughs> I don't believe so. Oh, uh, but we're trying we're trying to get him on for an interview. So, we'll, well, I definitely update you. But I don't think that is okay because Offerdahl is not maybe it's not a common name. And when you hear that, yeah. I know his dad played for the Miami Dolphins there, and I believe he got like a bagel shop. It's called Offerdahl's or something like that. But anyway, yeah. all right. So, so real quick, like I say to you guys, I see y'all. Uh, I, I see you guys in the chat. I'm definitely gonna get to you guys. The people are already yeah. calling in, and if y'all calling yeah. in, that means y'all got my number stored. That means <laughs> stored. you're a real teammate, boy. You're a real teammate up here. All right, talk to me. Any last words in regards to the offense? I'll tell you one person that don't sleep on is Caleb Mathis. He's a freshman wide receiver. Do not sleep on Caleb Mathis. Um, he did uh start on offense uh, during the spring game. He's going to get some touches. He is the son of uh, one of the coaches um, that's on the team that's a defensive back coach. But Caleb, he's going to he's gonna get some playing time, which all the receivers are going to get playing time. It's just a matter of how much playing time. Um, I do see them rotating wide receivers at least two to three deep throughout the game, depending on what the score of the game is. But those freshmen, are gonna, they're going to produce a lot. All right, let's rock. All right, let's flip to the defensive side of this deal, right? And this is where – some of the big time names, the Florida State guys start coming in, right? I did a show and said, listen, man, I'm telling you, these fans, boy, you talk about snowflake and sensitive. My goodness. All I did was said, I said, Coach Prime Ross, Florida State. 
How does he rob Florida State? Those guys don't play anyway. I mean, it's a it's a thumbnail. Relax. Relax. <laughs> anyway, let's get into it, man. So we're bringing in the edge and Jordan Dominic Dominique. Talk to me. What what's the deal with, with Jordan Dominique? 44. See, this is where this is where things get interesting on the on the defensive line because you got so many ends that could be converted to defensive tackles that could play along the line. So everything is going to be interesting because for me, you got they got Chance Main as the third depth on the defensive end. Really, he's like a he's really a starter, but he's probably going to be second team. So mm-hmm. when it comes down to the defensive line, it's so tricky. Um, I can see Jordan Dominic starting um, just because he's he's been there um, as a transfer during the spring game, things like that. Um, he's he's going to be a dog. He's going to be a dog. I really truly like Dominique um, on that defensive end spot, but he's gonna have some, he's gonna have his his work cut off for him with Chance Man. I can tell you that. Okay, so where, now what what is Jordan Dominic? Because all these guys are gold, all these yeah. guys are gold. So they came from somewhere yeah. and they're transferred. So what is and, and do me a favor when I bring their name up, just let me know where they come from, so I don't have to go through. So so where does Jordan come from? Do you know? Uh, dang, I'm trying to think off the top of my head. Um, don't worry about it. Watch this. The power trying, of the click. Yeah. Watch this. I got you. Yeah. There's so many players that transferred in trying to keep up with everybody. It's, yeah. Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech and Arkansas. So he's transferred in from Georgia Tech. Well, Arkansas and Georgia Tech. Yeah. yeah. Okay. He, so he I guess played, last he played last Arkansas year at the yeah, defensive he last year. Yeah, he had seven sacks at uh, Arkansas last year. And he's right from here, out of Lakeland, man, right out of Lake County, yep. out of George Jenkins High School, the Another owner one Florida the boys. guy who started Publix, Publix Shopping Center, supermarket, yeah, where yeah. shopping is a pleasure, George Jenkins High School. All right? I can tell you so, one yeah, thing. I just want to make sure. The defense got a lot of speed. Mm-hmm. I, can say, I can tell you one thing. The defense okay. got a lot of speed, and they're going to be flying around. I can tell you that much. You know that feeling of having to rewash dishes that didn't get clean? I don't. New cast. Upgrade to new Cascade Platinum Plus. Dare to dish differently. Okay. All right. So t- t- talk to me about Leonard Payne. Leonard Payne, you you got him right now. They got him right now as a starter. But I got my boy Bishop Thomas coming to start from Florida State. He is a dog, man. I'm, I'm telling you. Bishop Thomas is going to get loose this year. I do like Leonard Payne. Um, he does have the experience over uh, Bishop Thomas. But I ultimately see Bishop Thomas starting over Leonard Payne. Um, Leonard Payne is going to start just because he he wears that in the spring game. He knows the terminology of what Sal wants. Coach Sal, the defensive tackles coach, um, he does know what he wants. So um, that's why he does have the upper hand right now. But my boy Bishop Thomas, he's coming to wreck shop. I'm telling you right now, he's going to cause havoc. So is Bishop, if Bishop, that's the dude that got the one tooth missing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, that boy State. looking like DNA. <laughs> hey, that boy looking like DNA from uh uh, uh from the URL rap league. So, yeah, yeah. I want a fat. I said hey yo. That boy say he want a battle. That boy say he want a battle. All right, let's go here. Next, the big name, and I know Colin just did an interview with Shane. Shane Coach. Coach. He definitely do. Shane Coach is, is just a character guy, man. Um, great philosophy coming from Old Dominion. Um, he's going he's going to dominate, man. Um, he's truly going to dominate. He's definitely going to start. He was one of the first players who got the number. So that just goes to tell you what type of character, what type of hard work that he puts in day by day. Um, come from a great family background. So Shane Coach is definitely one of those dogs that you can look. He's going to cause some, some trouble. So you said he came from Old Dominion. I thought he came from Dartmouth, no? No, Am Dartmouth, I wrong? Dartmouth, sorry. Darby, you're right. You're right. Okay, no, I, I, got, I, I got him and Chaz Wallace. I was looking at Chaz Wallace. That's why I was said that. Chaz Wallace came from okay. to me. I got. I was looking okay. at Chaz Wallace. That's why I'm. I'm sorry. No, you good. All right, and Derek McClendon. Now that's another Florida State guy. D that Coach Mack. Prime stuff. <laughs> My boy D Mac, man. Hey, old spirit, man. He coming to call. He coming to call some some hacky, man. Um, I really like the, I really like what he brings um, to the table. With good run stop. Um, run stopper. He can get out to the quarterback. He just coming to show. He's trying to get to that lead. Um, so love D Mac. All right, and another Florida State guy, Demoy Kennedy. Am I correct? Isn't he from Florida State as well? No, he's from Alabama. Alabama, coach. I don't know how you forgot that one. They wrote an article about that. They was mad because of what he said. 
<laughs> I slapped myself. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, they was mad about what he said about the difference between technique of how Colorado teaches versus Alabama. They was, they was upset about that. But anyway, DK, man, that's my sleeper on defense, man. That's my X right there. Um, that man is he's 4-3 linebacker that's going to be flying around, busting people's heads. Um, I actually did uh, a video on uh, on Dean McKennedy. So, yeah, I'll be on the lookout for that boy because that boy is ready to get loose. Um, he only had eight tackles the last couple seasons at Alabama. He played a lot on special teams. But this is going to be his breakout season. All right. And Levanta Bentley, talk to me, Coming man. Coming from Clemson. Yeah. I'm from Clemson, man. He he's another one. Uh, I'm ready to see. Um, I'm just ready to see him to get the playbook down. Uh, ready to see him dominate. I do see him playing more of middle linebacker and D McK- uh, DK playing more of the weak side. But it is what it is. It's their depth chart, not mine. Uh, but you. I'm definitely I'm definitely ready to see him. Um, one of the people I say don't sleep on is Jeremiah Brown and B B Gant. I want like I do see B Gant and. Uh, DK starting together. I mean, playing a lot together just because of their speed and versatility on the on the field, being able to cover linebackers, being able to cover certain wide receivers. So I do like their versatility. All right, and then real quick, uh, we got Travis Hunter again, and I'm we're going to talk a little bit more about the two way player. He's yeah. now locked in as a as a cornerback. Uh, Trevor Woods, talk to me. He was a young man that was <laughs> on the team last year, uh, <laughs> forty three at safety. Um, uh, you nah. know, talk to me. He's the I only know. only guy that's in blue on according to them on the starting lineup. I know my boy Big LT is in this chat. I know he don't like it. <laughs> uh for me personally, I got Roger Ward starting over Trevor Woods. We can why? agree to this. We can agree, uh, but, agree but why? But why? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, you a hater because you are you ain't going with the program, dog. You a hater. They finna jump on your head, dog. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm telling you right now. I see Roger Ward and Shiloh Sanders starting at the two safety position. The reason why is because I see Cameron and Trevor Woods playing together a lot. Um, just because they mesh well together. Um, if you ever watched like the spring game and how they had everything set up. They always had Cam and Trevor together. So I see Shiloh and Ro- and Ro- uh, Roger Ward starting. Um, and that's and he, he, here's what's so funny to me, though. And Cameron uh, Craig, that's the young man, came from Jackson State, right? Correct. With Madrid. Correct. I don't know how accurate this list is. <laughs> Maybe Coach getting a little messy. I'm going to I'm muddy the waters. <laughs> but if Cameron Craig... Who earned his number? Uh huh. And he ain't on the starting list over Trevor Woods. <laughs> Hold up, let me click the button. On Tre- Hold up, let me click the button on Trevor Woods. Let me just click the button right quick on Trevor Woods. Tre- Trevor Woods is mass man. Trevor Woods is dog. Don't get me wrong. I'm Who's this mass man we speak of? I'm not saying he won't play. I'm just saying who I got starting personally. So I'm just telling you who I got starting. But Trevor, one thing I'll say about Trevor Woods, Trevor Woods is always in a position he's supposed to be in. When the ball is in flight and there's time to make a hit, Trevor Woods is always uh, in position. The difference between Trevor Woods and Cameron said say, uh, Cameron, I right, let me get his thing tied. Um, the difference between them two is they don't Cam doesn't wrap up and he he will get ran over at times. But mm. Trevor Woods gonna lay that wood too. So. This, I told you. Yeah. I told you. And here started. we go, Aaron. I told you for the story. No, they finna get started. What you think? But Aaron will, Aaron, Aaron will Leah. I said at the beginning, this was not my list. It came out in June yes. 9th of 2023, and this is why I have the expert. I call him an expert. He don't like to take the title, but I just said that. I, I you know, what I mean, I. This is why I have him on here to make these corrections. Y'all tough boy. Yeah. <laughs> I told you. I told you we got to get this. Gonna happen. I need y'all to give Rob some hate, dog. I ain't gonna take this from my son. He said Trevor Woods ain't starting, and here go my thing. Hold up, hold up. He said Trevor Woods should be starting in, right? Hold up, wait a minute. Somebody else said Tony said Trevor Woods is elite, but I need to update my list. Boy, Aaron, I love you, Aaron. I wish you would come on and hang out with us. <laughs> I'm, I'm letting you right tough now. on old coach. I even tried to dress up for the ladies today. I even tried to. 
I mean, put on the whole thing. I, I oh, told you, I when you when you first put this out, I said they're going when we get to Trevor Woods, this is where it's gonna get interesting. <laughs> because everybody has a different opinion about Trevor Woods. Trevor Woods is always in his position. I just don't see him starting over who we brought in. That's the difference. I get it, he's returning to Colorado, but I can also see Colorado playing three safeties. I can see Shallow. Trevor and Roger and Roger Ward playing at the same time. But one person I'll say don't sleep on because he's not fully healthy is Travis J, another Florida State guy. It all depends on who we play. Like when we play Utah, I can see Travis J starting because they're gonna need some line, they're gonna need some safety that come bring that that thunder because they're gonna have running backs and they're gonna have them them tackles and them guards just coming for your head and they're gonna need some somebody to shake it loose. So you can we so deep at the safety position versus the corner position. So I can see us playing a lot of three safeties. All right. Let me see. I'm going to put it because I looked up Woods highlights a thousand times a hands down great tackler, but not great in space or covering down the field. I'm going to leave that up to y'all. Well, I, I just read it. Yeah, I, I just read I, I'm, it. Telling, I'm telling you, that's the biggest difference with Roger Ward. Roger Ward can, can go get that ball. He can he can run in space. He can hit. And that's the reason why I got Roger Ward. So they're, they're spot on. Charlie Woods going to come let it thump. They're going to come let it thump. But the problem is, is when you got to match up with one of them wide receivers and tight ends, they go on that go route and it sticks on the board. So <laughs> that's – it is what it is. Hey, one thing offensive coordinators do, they got to find the fish. And what nope. is the fish? That's the dude that <laughs> – he ain't swimming as fast as the rest of them, dog. Yeah. I'm gonna leave, hey, as it say in the go, the lion and the gazelle. You heard that story before? Yep. All right. The lion wake up and say, I got to be faster than the slowest gazelle. And the gazelle yep. says I got to wake up and be faster than the fastest lion. So if I find a slow gazelle out there, palms over, bad <laughs> It is what it is. But anyway, let's get into these last three. Shiloh Sanders, uh, we know, Kamani McClain, and Miles Slusher. Talk to me. I do not have Miles Slusher starting. I have Jack Quest starting uh, at that rubber start position. Uh, Kamani, I'm going to say this about Kamani, so don't beat me up. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up, hold up. You finna what? You finna do what? Don't beat me up, but I'm, I'm about to really. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, I'm not going to be on the screen. I want you to say it all by yourself. <laughs> all right, so what I'm about to say about Kermani, don't beat me up. I have Cooper starting first game. Kermani is going to play, but I have Cooper starting first game. Kermani is going to start down the road, but I do have Cooper starting first game against TCU. The reason why is not that Carmani is not gifted and not talented. I just think with him missing majority of the spring, majority of the summer, and not being in a weight room, that that's going to come to hurt him at the beginning. But overall, I do see Carmani taking off and having a great season because people are not going to want to throw on, uh, on Hunter. So that's going to give him plenty of opportunities to be able to shine, be able to get interceptions. But I do have him playing – a lot in the first game. I just don't have him starting initially, unless they go with three corners. If they go with three corners, then you got Travis, you got um, Kermadi, you got Cooper. That would, those would be my three starting corners. But if they go hey. with two corners, that's what. Elise, now that we've made travel so expensive, this golf course is all ours. How'd you get here? Kayak, they compared hundreds of travel sites to find a great deal on my flight, car, and hotel. Kayak, search one and done. Bro, I, I know. Bro, I know they're gonna beat me. I know they're gonna beat me. Oh, up. listen, listen, listen! I had to put it up there, dog. Yeah. Listen, they talk about man, this dude high. He drunk. Get this dude off the interview, coach. I'm telling you, dog. Listen, <laughs> so, so here's the thing, right? As just think, just people gotta be logical about what they sell, bro. Yeah. Hey, bro, Kamani came here to start, bro. <laughs> I did not say Kermani wasn't going to play. I'm saying first game. Listen to me. First game. That's it. I just said he would not start first game. I don't sound – Carpet Tech, call in because I'm going I'm to I'm break it down. I'm going to break it down to you before you even call in. Here's why. I say this, right? Cooper is a more experienced player coming from FSU, right? I did not say Kermani is not going to play because Kermani is going to play. That's just a given. He didn't come from Florida not to play. I've never said that he's not going to play. I'm just saying 
expectation wise, first game, if he's not starting, don't be upset. None of you guys really know who's going to start. They haven't played a game yet. So for y'all to get upset, keep in mind the pass come on next month. You're going to see. I know you watched well our video. <laughs> where did you see? Car- where did you see Carmani at? In the second stream behind Travis. Am I right or am I wrong? Right. So don't don't shoot the message. I'm just telling you what's going on right now. That does not mean that Carmani cannot get up to speed and play because Carmani is going to be a dog. He's going to play. He's going to shine. It's just certain things when you come in as a true freshman that you have to learn, right? Carmani is 170 versus everybody else is 195, right? They're going to test Carmani. That's what's going to happen. But Carmani is going to play a lot. So don't don't beat me up over it. He's not Bro, and the thing is, can I be honest with you? I'm with you, Rob. But watch Aaron. At Rob the Man Media, it's all about your opinion. He got you on here for the confusion, straight messy. No, I agree with this guy. Like, that's why I said you can't win with y'all. Like, yeah. it's somebody's opinion. The dude, he high, he drunk, hang up the phone yeah. on him, get him off the line, blah, blah, blah. He didn't say, he said he may not start the first game. That's it. That's and y'all it, went man. from zero to 100 on the man. And, this and is what I'm what did I now, say? What did I, what now did I'm. I say, what did I say when I first said this? Right, because we had we had a conversation about this. You know, when we was on the phone, I said they're they're going to they're going to get mad at me when I say this. But it's not. Don't take it in a bad way because somebody don't start. He might not start the first possession and come back in the second possession because Travis Hunter is tired or he's he's on the offense and they change right over the defense and Carmine's in. I never said how many snaps Carmine's going to play. So. A possession could be three plays. It could be ten. Yeah, no, no, nah, don't backpedal. Don't backpedal, dog. You, you, don't backpedal, dog. You know that he made it. It's very well. He made a dude like Sports Geek say, "I don't care if he came in November, he gonna start." Like all I'm saying. So nah, it's, it's, nobody's entitled to their opinion. Yeah. Right. Nobody's entitled to their opinion unless it fits y'all narrative. And the man right. didn't say, oh, Monica, come on, McClain, trash. He da 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 da. No, nobody said that. He was just saying, like, like you can't, you, you can't, dog. That's why I'm laughing. And I want to make sure you was on the screen because people don't <laughs> believe when I say something. I'm a hater, dog. And I'm not right. hating. They, like, they, it, I'm not a hater by no means. I'm just, I'm just looking at it from a football standpoint of somebody that like, played collegiate football. Like, coming in as a true freshman and starting their first game, right? You got some good. I'm telling you right now, I already know what's going on. People here, people are co- comparing Kamani to Travis Hunter. What they don't realize is Travis Hunter was 30 pounds heavier than Kamani coming into college football. There's a big difference, right? You can't miss a lot of reps and things that man, you could just go out there and do it. I'm not saying Kamani can't play, that's not Kamani is going to be a great corner, but there's certain things that you have to learn before you step on that field. He's going to get it. They're going to get him up to speed. He just might not start the first game. That does not mean he won't play the entire game because he can play the entire game. I, we just Bro, know, we I, I'm, I don't try to convince nobody. I just nah. say my points and keep moving. <laughs> Real quick. Club Shay Shay, where you been? I know I've been out of pocket, but you can come visit me on some other shows. You stop it, and I mean right now. LOL. You know, same thing with you. Hello, everyone. Been out the country for work, but I'm back. They got Wi-Fi out the country. <laughs> I did a show in Dubai. I'm not getting matter of fact, put your hand out, LOL Emmett. I did a show out of Dubai. I've done a show out of Aruba. I've done a show out of Colombia. I've done a show out of Panama. They got Wi-Fi. Don't be missing out on your boy. I get you know, I get mad now. I need some ladies to come in here and defend the old coach. I be getting whooped, man. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh and I, I explain why guy uh Jack Quest Robinson over Miles Slusher. What it comes down to me is can Miles Slusher cover? I know he can go and hit, but him covering mm-hmm. receivers is where it comes down to. And that's why I give Jack Quest the upper hand because Jack Quest can't cover those slot receivers. Yeah, most definitely, man. And, and like I say, okay, uh L O L M I see it. I, I'm gonna look for it. Uh I, I don't put that information up because it has a uh it, too much personal information is up there, but I would definitely give you a shout out for it. Anyhow, um, and then last but not least, talk to me in reference to some of these guys like Savelle Smalls. I see was a big name. 
Uh, mm -hmm. Omari and Cooper coming from Florida State was a big name on defense. Um, hold on, let me pull up these other names here. Uh, you talked about Chaz Wallace, uh, Brendan Gant, those guys. Those are the Florida State guys, and, and I know you did kind of talk about them. Yeah. Let me go back here and get deep. What about a Vito Tisdale? I know he's from Kentucky. He is from what Kentucky. About uh, mm -hmm. He's an underrated. He's an underrated player, right? You got to think about it. He left a starting position at Kentucky to come to Colorado. So you you put a lot of bet on yourself where you was the man got hurt and they, you was gonna come in and start this year and you come to Colorado. So don't think that hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm for the start at Kentucky and I'm the third yeah. string behind Trevor Woods and Cameron Craig, Cam Craig, and I was gonna yep. be starting at an SEC program at Kentucky and I'm the third yep. string. Oh, yep. somebody got to see me. I'm 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 telling you right now, Kentucky was upset by him transferring. I'm telling you right now. You can look it up. You can go read any article. They were truly upset about him leaving. So him transferring to Colorado, it's kind of interesting to see what they're really going to do with him just because of, like, you left a starting spot at an SEC school to come to Colorado. You, you're really betting on yourself. I get it that he got hurt last year, but to come in as a projected starter this season and to leave, it's kind of interesting. Well, like I said, it, it may be certain things. I mean, like I said, we never know what's happening behind the scenes. Yep. And ladies and gentlemen in the chat, this is all speculation. We don't know until we know. Unless you're one of those guys in that in that coach's office, in them coaching meeting rooms, you never know what it is. But real quick, LOL, M, thank you so much. Oh, man, that's a thank you. I really appreciate for what you did. Thank you on PayPal. I really appreciate that. Um, like I said, I'm trying to find a way to put that up, but it, show, it has too much – personal information but cash app doesn't definitely i put cash app up and your super chats if you like to do so anyhow as we here go ahead and hit the like button hit the subscribe button i appreciate it. we got 185 in the building let me do this piece right here let's go ahead and clear the air a little bit let me get that out the deal we're gonna open up the phone lines here in a quick second and that's okay all right I already know carpet. I'm, I'm ready for carpet taking old school to come on because i know they got something to say. I, I got gemini in the building i got 0442 